Hello everyone and welcome to another video over on digitalsmind.com. I'm Digital Dave, I'm your host and the proprietor of digitalsmind.com. Today we're going to look at what I consider to be the most annoying Outlook error ever. And the reason I find this to be the most annoying is, is no help is provided to you um, in solving the error. Uh, basically all you see is the error on the screen and then you see was this information helpful? Well, yes it was because I now know what the error is. However, I don't know how to solve it. And it, this is one of those difficult ones to solve because the file that you're chasing is actually hidden. And you have to know how to find it and you're going to have to know how to deal with it uh, in order to get rid of the error. Now, this error normally happens when you have multiple copies of Outlook and you've opened up a copy of Outlook on one machine, on another machine you've opened up another copy and somehow they get out of sync. I've also seen this error several times and I get it quite a bit because I restore my machine from time to time and yes it's because I've been screwing around with a piece of software or I put on video drivers that went south and I just don't feel like dealing with ripping out all the INFs and everything else. It's just easier for me to go back and, and, and put um, uh, an older you know an older image back on the system. Everything comes back the way it was and it works just fine. So this is one of the errors that I got and actually I just got this error um, a couple days ago because I did have to do a restore because the latest ATI drivers blew up my system. I don't mean kind of sorta, I mean blew it up. So I'm not putting those back on. I'll stick with one rev behind until they can figure out what's going on with it. Anyway, let's get to fixing this error. As you can see on the screen right now, what uh, I have is the standard Explorer. Um, this is what you're going to see when you open up Windows 7 or even Vista. Um, and there's really no help here whatsoever. We are chasing a folder called Users, and we are chasing your profile. Now that's my profile, I know, uh, but your profile will be very similar. Now, a lot of people get confused with that. I'm going to go back to Users real quick, because what happens is they, they think there's public or there's another one that may be like your, ch your, your children's or someone else who shares the machine. Don't. You want to do your login. So you double click on your login, but we're looking for a folder in here that doesn't exist. Actually it does, but it's hidden. Now, follow my mouse, we're going to come up top here, and we're going to actually bring up a bar here. So I'm going to hit the Alt key, and we're going to go to Tools. And then we're going to go to Folder Options, and then we're going to go to View. And we need to actually click this button here, Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. We're going to say OK. And then we're chasing this one right here, App Data. So now that it's appeared, double click on it. Double click on Local because it's a local application scroll to Microsoft because that's you know Outlook's a Microsoft application and then we're going to scroll to uh, Outlook so you're going to double click on Outlook and the file you're looking for is this one it's the ODF that's what it says Outlook data file this is actually the OST file and you can see it right here now the problem you're going to have with this is that you've already in order to see the original error you have to have started Outlook now once you do that, Outlook locks this file. It actually puts its hooks into it and says you can't do anything with this particular file. So in order for the handle to get released from this, you need to log off the system and then log back on. You don't have to reboot. You can log off and log back on. You can also use a tool called Unlocker. And I'll put a URL up here in the video. Um, but you're going to have to load that up before you do all this. But what Unlocker does is Unlocker tries to get the handle to be released from the file that is currently in use which can allow you to, to then delete the file and the only way to get rid of this particular error is to either delete that or rename it so if you want to keep it just for whatever sake uh, the OST you can name it to dot BAK dot you know uh, you know Bob dot you know John it doesn't matter just as long as it doesn't have an OST file on it once you're able to accomplish that then you need to go back, reopen Outlook, and then Outlook will actually create a brand new copy of the OST file, which means it needs to resynchronize all of your data again. And it's the only way you're going to get rid of that error. So I hope this helps some of you out. I hope it shows you where you need to go to do this. And I hope that, um, you know, for Microsoft's sake or for somebody's sake up there, that they provide a tool or someone does a, a tool that actually goes in and actually helps you do that. Or Microsoft just makes that error a little bit more, um, oh, I don't know, easier to understand and maybe provides a link to an FAQ on their site that shows you how to fix it right out of the box right or right from that error if you click on it. 
So I hope this works and I hope this helps some of you out. Take care and we'll see you on the site.